Hi viewers, welcome to GRS Learn Life Sciences. In my first video, we have done with the sepalic appendages. In second video, we have done with the thoracic appendages. In this video, I am going to explain abdominal appendages. There are 19 pairs of appendages are present in prawn. First five pairs are called sepalic appendages. Next to eight pairs are called thoracic appendages, and last six pairs are called abdominal appendages. Abdominal appendages. There are six pairs of abdominal appendages are present. The first five pairs of abdominal appendages are called smerites or pleopods, and the last pair is called uropod. The typical abdominal appendage is third abdominal appendage. The third and fourth and fifth have a typical structure with a ring-like coxa and a cylindrical basis from cylindrical basis a flat leaf like uh, structures arises these flat leaf like structures are called endopodite and exopodite endopodite is smaller and exopodite is uh, bigger an important structure that is called appendix interna also comes from the basis of uh, second third and fourth and fifth abdominal appendages and this appendix interna is not present in first pair of abdominal appendages appendix interna of second third fourth and fifth abdominal appendages forms a structure that is called petasma and this petasma is helpful to carry the fertilized eggs in prawn the first abdominal appendage is the first with the, the typical abdominal appendage by lacking this appendix interna structure also the second abdominal appendage is differ with the typical third fourth and fifth abdominal appendages by having an extra structure that is called appendix musculina this appendix musculina is a uh, present in between appendix interna and endopodite and this appendix musculina is present only in the male second abdominal appendage and the female's second abdominal appendage follows the typical abdominal appendage structure. Europods. Europods. They are sixth pair of abdominal appendages. They are very large and in lie on the either side of the telson. With the telson, they form tail fin. Telson is the outgrowth of last abdominal segment. This uropod helps prawn to backward spring in water. Hoax and basis are fused in this protopodite of uropod and they form a structure that is called sympod. Sympod has bore shaped exopodite and endopodite structures. These bore shaped exopodite and endopodite helps prawn to perform backward spring in water. The exopodite is bigger than the endopodite. Also, the exopodite is uh, divided by a suture or a line, but endopodite is not uh, is divided by any suture or a line. The borders of this exopodite and the endopodite are fringed with uh, setae, and these setae are present all the outer and uh, inner margins of uh, endopodite, but the outer margin of exopodite doesn't have setae but the inner margins of uh, this exopodite also has this setae structure thank you for watching this video please subscribe for my channel to get more updates